nice run of luck there, kid. Oh, it ain't luck. What then? I know you. You know me? Yeah, so I know what you got. Yeah, any good gin player learns that. Yeah, but I know now. After four discards? Impossible. Double or nothing says I do. Story. That's a bet. So, uh, talk to me, little master. Well, I know you got a pretty decent hand, because you always lean a little forward when the cards look good to you on the deal. Now, that means you got two spreads, because if you had three, when I hit you with the king of diamonds, you would have knocked, which you didn't. Since I got the queen of diamonds, you got kings. Brilliant. No, not really. See, but do you know you always keep your low spreads on the right side of your hand? Yeah, you do. But with aces, for some reason, you start them on the left until you hit something else and you move them over. Now, that's interesting, right? how all these big casinos get built. You throw down your cash hour after hour, and the casino's edge on the game just whittles it away. Sometimes it's just a tiny edge, but it's always there. They know if you win, it's just temporary. So they buy you your room and your dinner, and they smile and wait for you to lay your money down again until eventually you lose. And that's what we did, too. Just waiting for you. In the 60s, guys who wore cowboy hats and had cutesy names played poker. By 1980, some of them were still around, but they weren't the best no more. The new pros were math teachers, bankers, lawyers, scientists. Guys who stopped in Vegas for a vacation and figured out they could make more money doing this than any shitty 9 to fiver. Some of them made money, some went broke and ran back to real life. Our favorite thing was to beat the shit out of some young hotshot. Some jerk-off who dominated his home poker game and thought he could make a living playing. Just destroy him. And the great thing for us was that Texas Hold'em was such an easy game. You get two private cards, five others are dealt up. Whoever makes the best five-card hand wins. Piece of cake. And more assholes showed up every day to prove they had it not. It was a fucking feast. Because these donkeys never figured out that the game wasn't about cards. It was about people.